So hello learners, welcome to the IITM student community channel. Today we will be solving the IITM graded assignments and subscribe us and join our channel to get full access and all our latest updates. So now let's begin. So everyone now let's start solving the week 6 graded assignment. So the first question is that a function t that belongs to v is equals to or belongs to w between two vector spaces v and w which is said to be a linear transformation if the following conditions hold. So the first condition that will hold is t of v1 plus v2 is equals to t of v1 plus t of v2 for all v1 and v2 that belongs to v. And the second condition is that t of cv is equals to c of tv for all v that belongs to v and c that belongs to r. And uh, we have to consider the following functions that t that belongs to r square to r and t of xy is equals to x uh, sorry 3x if y is equals to 0 and it will be 4y if y will be not equals to 0. So now we have to check that whether the following statements are true or not. So the first statement is that condition 1 holds and the condition 1 does not hold. Second is that condition 2 holds and the last one is that condition 2 does not hold. So now let's find out which is true. So here is the solution that the given map is t of xy is equals to 3x if y is equals to 0 and it will be 4y if y will not equals to 0. Then we have our first condition that t of v1 plus v2 is equals to t of v1 plus t of v2 for all v1 and v2 that belongs to v. So here we have v is equals to r square and w is equals to r. So now we will take v1 as x1 and y1 and v2 as x2 and y2 that belongs to r square. Now we want to know whether t of v1 and v2 is equals to t of x1 y1 plus x2 y2. Then by solving this we have t of x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2 is equals to t of v1 plus t of v2. Then we have t of x1 y1 plus t of x2 y2 for all x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 belongs to r square. This will be the equation 1. Now the above equality is true for all. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, the above equality is true for all v1 and v2 that belongs to r square then it should satisfy the following equation where v1 is equals to 1 or 0 or v2 will be 0 and 1. So that is t of 1 and 0 plus 0 and 1 is equals to t of 1 0 plus t of 0 1. Then by solving this we have 0 plus 1 will be 1 and 0 plus 1 will be 1. So t of 1 1 is equals to t of 1 0 plus t of 0 1 this will be the equation number 2 then we have the LHS of equation number 2 that is t of 1 1 is equals to t of 0 1 and 1 0 is t of 1 1 here is the LHS of equation number 2 that is equals to 4 by definition cos t of x y is equals to 4 y if y is not equals to 0 it is given in the definition then the RHS of the given second equation is t of 1 0 plus t of 0 1 is equals to 3 plus 4 is equals to 7. Here we have t of 1 0 is by the definition that t of x y is equals to 3 k if y is equals to 0. And the second one is t of 0 1 is equals to by definition t of x y is equals to 4 y if y is not equals to 0. Then by adding these 3 plus 4 we have 7. Now we have the LHS of equation number 2 is not equals to LHS sorry RHS of equation number 2 then the equality of equation does not hold hence the condition 1 is not satisfied by T. So now let's have a look at the condition number 2 which says that T of CV is equals to CT of V. Now for all V that belongs to V and C that belongs to R. Take V as X and Y that belongs to R square. Now we have to check that whether T of CV is equals to t of cx and cy that is equals to ct of x and y so we'll take as case 1 where y is equals to 0 now here t of cv is equals to t of ck and 0 is equals to 3cx that is equals to c of 3x and ct of x and 1, 0 that is equals to ct of v if y is equals to 0 and tx is equals to 3k then this will be the following case now for our case number 2 that is y is not equals to 0 we have t of cv is equals to t of cx and cy that is equals to 4cy and c of 4y that is equals to ct of x and y that is equals to ct of v. 
this will be happen if uh, our y is not equals to 0 so t of x and y will be 4k so the condition 2 holds now as we have find out the case 1 and case 2 as y equals to 0 and case 2 we have y is not equals to 0 then we came to know that the condition number 2 holds that's why we got the answer that the condition 2 holds so now as we have seen that the equality of equation 1 doesn't holds yeah uh, wait yeah equality of equation 1 doesn't holds similarly the equation of second condition 2 holds that's why we got the answer yeah we have our answer that condition 1 this one condition 1 holds is not true condition 1 does not holds is true and the condition 2 holds is also true condition 2 does not holds is also wrong so we have our correct option as condition 1 does not hold and the second one is that the condition 2 holds and third one condition 2 does not hold is wrong and first one condition 1 holds is also wrong so that's how we solved the first question let me show you the question again So in this question we have find out these we have solved these equations and then find out the conditions which holds or which not